It is once again the morning after a YCS. This time we have YCS Richmond, Virginia in the USA, of course, wrapping up Unchained, still on top or rather back on top. Around 1,400 participants in this YCS. Not the biggest, especially compared to EU events, but still a lot of big names, a lot of decks, and this was really, really interesting to watch. So before we get started, of course, like the video so other people will see it, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel even further, we have new membership perks. Check out the community tab to see what they are. You get awesome rewards for being a member here on the channel, of course, supporting me. Richmond, we still have a pretty wide open format. Lots of decks still viable, still kicking. Um, but Unchained ends up taking it all. So let's start and break down a little bit of what happened in this event. So this pie chart, courtesy of Lampy, check him out on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, of course. We can see the breakdown. It's a little bit narrower than the last time we saw this type of breakdown, but still pretty wide open. Eight Unchained, Unchained in top 32. Five tier, four Rescue Ace, which I feel is quite a drop. People might have been a little bit more prepared for rescue ace i saw a lot of people um maining lightning storm even uh then we have pearly and labyrinth taking up three each and infernoble um we'll talk about infernoble in a little bit i think this was my personal surprise for the event labyrinth we haven't even seen i think in any feature match the deck has been like in a slumber <laughs> I haven't seen that deck in a while two mechanical one manadium one dynamorphia one kashtira in one salamangri um so let's start and talk a little bit about what we actually saw in in this event uh, we are seeing of course justin sang i believe his last name is who lost to jeff leonard um but now rewarded playing tier and milling well um so let's start by talking about the decks uh and kind of what actually happened i think unchained is still positioned pretty well in this format still running a lot of non-engine still not really losing to any hand traps of war breakers which is funny because it's just like there's no one way to beat the deck you need to pray and we saw pack doing it valor on the um the tour guide in the feature match which could have gone wrong in so many ways but in that case you like either i lose or I bet that this Valor will go through, and it did. It actually won him the match right there and then. But um, we saw Unchained. So again, um, I believe Joseph Bellafiori, I think his name is, who actually won. We're going to see that when we go to, to that video. Won the YCS with Unchained in an Unchained mirror match. The finals was actually Unchained versus Unchained. The deck, again, doesn't lose to conventional hand traps and board breakers. You need to surgically deal with the boards. Um, and that makes it still very resilient. Um, Turg out of the Underworld, the card should probably be at one. Um, the deck should not be as consistent. It has a lot of really powerful cards and can just play through so much. We did see a lot of bricking going on with Unchained, with Pearly, with like a lot of decks. We just saw them bricking on feature. Uh, Sintoli as well, we're gonna, we're gonna watch that. But still Unchained, now being able to access SP Little Knight through Unchained Soul of Rage is just an incredible boost and the deck still remains powerful, taking the, just going back up there. Um, it's funny like how things have turned. We saw like Rescue Ace sweeping the last YCS, which was just like two weeks ago or something. And now like a completely different picture with um, Unchained just being straight on top. Speaking of the last YCS, Steven Santoli, the freshest YCS champion, putting on quite a clinic with Rescue Ace. This guy is really just a pleasure to watch. Um, gotta give credit where credit is due. The guy plays really well, makes the deck look great. Um, Clifton Land um, running the Pearly deck here, just off um, beating uh, Jesse Cotton the, the round before, off to the feature. Um, Steven... Taking on this match kind of comfortably, to be honest. Kind of breaking on hand trap, but like both sides. A little bit of misplaying on Clifton's side. Um, but overall, we're seeing two of the, the most powerful decks in contention right here. We, we're seeing Pearly that has not really changed. Still being able to run a lot of very impactful non-engine. We're seeing Book of Eclipse here. Um, and just being able to turbo out a Towers monster that you... 
you don't have the answer to, you usually lose on the spot. Being able to spin so many cards, um, and and here we see Steven, Steven actually scooping it up. But um, Steven, on the other hand, running the deck of the of last week, Sinful Spoils Rescue Ace, and just making it seem like the deck is still extremely powerful in the hands of a good player. Um, it, it's a deck that has like a very high ceiling, I believe. But I think after the, the last YCS, it had a big target on its back coming into this event. Probably one of the reasons why people chose to like veer away from it or just target it, but like targeted, hey, like Lightning Storm in the main, which really hurts, evenly matched, stuff like that. Um, even even though that was the case, still four in, in the top cut, which is uh, pretty good. So we have Unchained as the top deck, Pearly, still remains strong. The deck needs to be hit. ASAP, um, and we also have, of course, um, Rescue Ace still standing. And this was such a pleasure, in my opinion. Uh, we saw Pac actually tweeting about hiring a coach prior to this event, and then seeing him twice on feature. Um, this was, I believe, the second time we saw him on feature. I think we saw him in Swiss as well, running like a full freaking QCR deck. Of course, it's Pac. Um, running Infernoble. Um, sinful spoil sinful we barely i believe saw dio bell star at all but um just infernoble itself i think the deck i definitely underestimated the deck i i knew it was good um but i also knew that it required like a very specific type of player to run it not a lot of players were willing to make that investment in terms of like testing and, and building and preparing but pack did and it definitely paid off top four, third place overall in the event with a deck that seemingly he picked up just um, a week or so before, which is crazy. Um, I think the deck is very scary, I think. Um, it has the same fortes as Unchained, I believe, because again, it doesn't really lose to conventional hand traps and it doesn't really lose to conventional board breakers, except maybe Dark Ruler no more, but still, with cards like Angelica's Angel Ring, the first spell card is going to be negated. So it better be, you know, another spell card. You're going to have to run through two interruptions through that board. Um, but but again, just kind of a, a really, really interesting match. Seeing Pack pilot this deck is is kind of impressive. I, I, think, I think it was a good showing for the deck. And I think this deck is going to rise in popularity. As people try to figure out, it's not an easy deck to pilot. So you need to, to take that undertaking upon yourself um pearly unchained rescue ace a lot simpler have very like straightforward lines infernoble not like that at all and lastly yeah the winner of the event joseph um bellafiore on top here um running unchained in the mirror extremely like not super interesting match i think overall just as a viewing experience because the deck is so telegraphed and and like Kind of streamlined, I suppose. Um, yeah, Unchained still strong. Every card is still a three. Um, it's 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 very strong and it's very good, and it did end up taking the YCS. So uh, yeah, um, congratulations to Joseph Biden Blast. Um, the format is still wide open. We have Bologna next, but we have Valiant Smashers soon. So uh, stick around the channel. We're gonna do some coverage on that. And uh, have a wonderful week. Don't forget to support the channel whatever way you can. Like the video, subscribe, share with a friend. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.